Okay, this is the second part of the Arizona 229. This is the calibration of the sand. When we calibrate the sand, what we're doing is getting the density of the sand. We're going to have to have a six inch mold. Again, the collar comes with the mold, but we don't use the collar for the test. We need to know the volume of the six inch mold. In this case, it's written on the side, 0 0.0750. We need to get our initial weight of our mold and base plate, record that to the nearest gram. Okay. To make cleaning up the excess sand easier, I put my mold and base plate on top of my collar, raise it up off the bottom of the pan. I have my apparatus, again it's filled with sand. Make sure that the valve opens and closes, make sure it's closed. I'm going to flip it over, place it on the six inch mold, and get it as vertical as possible, level as possible across here. Again, make sure there's no vibrations, then open the valve and let the sand flow freely. Sand and stop moving, close the valve, carefully remove your apparatus from the, from the mold. I need to remove the excess sand from the top and the, the, using the straight edge and the least number of strokes possible. You want to make sure that sand does not fall over your straight edge as you're leveling it. So I'll get the top part first. Then rest the straight edge on the mold, top of the mold, strike it off. There's a little bit here. Level that off. Least number of strokes possible. Once you have it leveled to the, the mount that you want, you're going to tap the side of the mold to let it settle in there. When you tap it, tap it with the edge of the straight edge. <clears throat> You've got the amount of sand that you want to weigh. Now you have to get rid of all the excess off the outside here. That includes this top ridge. Make sure that you don't lose any material from inside of the mold as you're getting rid of the excess. Okay, all the sand off the outside, weigh this to the nearest one gram. That was the first trial, again I need to do, fill up my apparatus and do this two more times for a total of three times. I'll have the weight it takes to fill the mold for all three trials, I'll average that, those weights and use that average in my calculation.